I'm Rick Hall. Um, I work as a highway commissioner for Custer Township, trying to maintain 27 miles of road with a very small budget of about $90,000. I was looking for a method to try to improve the roads and get them to where they'd hold up and not fall apart. Every year it seemed like limestone would be in the spring, it'd be just turning to soup and slop. So I started playing with the slag and doing different methods. Found that the slag worked very good as a base. I found mixing it into limestone binds it up, makes it very hard, makes a very good surface. And the last couple years we've used steel slag, the very fine material, three quarter to nothing. We've been doing some tar and chipping with it. And with two years in one road, it's held up extremely well um, with no breaking down. Uh, although the road we placed it on, it was recycled grindings and then we went over top of them grindings the next year with the steel slag incorporated in emulsion. Held up very well. The only problem I see is in the past I've used hot oil instead of emulsion and I believe I'm going to go back to the hot oil because of the problems that the emulsion does not mend itself and the hot oil does. It just bleeds. Um, gets soft, you know, when the heat hits it, the sun hits it, it gets soft. But with it getting soft, it takes them cracks and melts them back together. and It's like putting a band-aid on top and the wound heals. The chippers, the first time they came out, the steel slag, they were just leaving their tailgates open too wide. And when they closed the tailgates up and weren't trying to overload the machine, all they had to do was keep the belts full. They didn't need to have it building up in, in the front of the machine. Once they did that, the job went smooth after that. Believe it or not, I actually use a vibratory roller. And once we got it set, we started vibrating it very lightly and very fast. Now, this road that we just came off of, we used a rubber tire roller on that. And that's how they did it. The last job I did, we had a vibratory. Cause we, had the, we had the vibratory there already. It was touchy. You had to be very careful with it. We didn't have water on it. So once in a while, if you got a little oil on top, it would start building up on the drum. So that was the only problem we had with it. I think it's held up much better. better? I mean, every place I've used it, even as far as patching the roads, the patches don't come out where the uh, 3 8 aggregate has broken back up on me. But the slag is harder. It's just, it weighs more. You might put a little bit more weight on the road, but they've held up very well for me. I'm going to do another job this spring. I've got a half mile that we're going to do. Um, like I said, as you, as you saw, you came off the road. There's no reason why I wouldn't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs>